What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Coach Anderson here, and I've got another treat for you today. Let's get into it. So, first things first, I know I sound like a broken record if you've seen my videos before. We always need the what? Start with the question. So, what we're gonna do here is again, focus on the question action words. The who, what, when, where, why, how many, which of the following. That's gonna help you, again, orient yourself to the goal of the problem and nothing else. You don't care about the information if you don't know what it's useful for. You need goals first, then information to meet those goals. Not just a bunch of random information and then hope to do the best with it, right? Goals, information, action. So here, our goal is right here. How long will each piece be? Just like that. So with that said, my math part people, that's what we want right there. How long will each piece, and each is definitely a key word because each means you're looking for one out of a bunch. And each also means that each of these pieces, all of them are the same. So this, this typically means that we're gonna be multiplying or dividing. And because we're looking for each one piece, we're gonna be dividing from a big amount down to get one. So this is something that you can learn through practice and time. And before I continue with this problem, I wanna make sure that you understand this. The way that you practice matters. Just watching this one video, if, even if it goes really well for you and you get excited, it's not enough. I wanna make sure that you understand that if you're in my program, you have everything you need to practice this the right way. So right behind me, you're gonna see part of the course that you get for the arithmetic reasoning for the ASVAB. And the awesome thing about this is that this is a section for unit conversions. That's what this problem is about. So I'm gonna show you the solution in a moment, but I'm gonna take a quick 10 seconds to show you how awesome this is. Because if you take a look right over here on the left, you'll see all of the activities for unit conversions. You have a beginner lesson on how to convert all types of units. You have flashcard sets for all types of unit conversions. You have lessons fully recorded, hours long. That way you can take your time and go through them and learn every nook and cranny about it. Extra lessons, casual practice with video solutions, more lessons, and more casual practice with unlimited practice. So right behind me is an example of the practice with video solutions just like this, and you can get a ton of problems where once you submit an answer, boom, you'll be able to watch a video solution right here, right behind me. You can click it and you can watch me do it with you this here. all the way through. Back. And you have tons of problems just like this, and you can keep going over and over and over again. There are actually over 10,000 practice questions that you can do in my ASVAB All Access program. So go ahead and click the link in the description of the video so you can check out the full details and sign up because this is how my students raise their scores, get the jobs they want, guaranteed. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump back into this problem here and show you how to get this done in the best way possible. So the question was, how long will each piece be? So step one, what do you want? Is hey, right here, each piece is blank feet long or whatever. And you look at the answers and you might see that, oh wait, hey coach, uh, we got feet and inches, feet and inches, feet and inches, and then just inches here. It looks like I might need to be doing some uh, calculations here in terms of converting some units. Possible, very possible. Let's look at the information to see if that's even gonna be necessary. So let's look at what we have. A pipe four feet and three inches long needs to be cut into three equal pieces. Okay, so here, a pipe four feet, three inches long needs to be cut three equal pieces. So there's one key word here I'm gonna highlight that should stand out like a sore thumb for you. And that's gonna be the word cut, right? The word cut right here. If you're cutting something into equal pieces, mathematically, what are you really doing? Again, we have to understand how these keywords in English translate into math. So that keyword cut into equal pieces, that's division. Think about it. If I have just $10, if I have $10 and I cut it into two equal pieces, that's $5 and $5. I divided it by two, right? Just because you're looking at a weird number like four feet and three inches doesn't mean that the process changes. The numbers change. The processes and keywords don't those keywords stay the same. So we need to learn how to handle numbers, all right? So don't freak out because all we have to do here is again, we're gonna take the information we have, that's the pipe that's four feet, three inches, 
and we're going to divide all of this, so divide this whole thing, divide by three. Divide by three. Three equal pieces. So that's all we gotta do now. The only question is how, right? Because when you look at four feet three inches, you're not really used to dividing things like that. And so this is where your knowledge of unit conversions comes in. We're gonna need to first convert this four feet three inches into all inches, divide it by the three, and we'll see what we have. And if we need to convert that back into feet and inches, we will. But allow me to show you how to get that done in this example. So right over here, we're gonna take four feet, and we need to understand how many inches that is. How many inches is that? So the way that you convert between feet and inches is gonna be by multiplying by 12, or you can use your conversion rate like I've been teaching in all of my classes. So here, four feet, multiply by, and you need to know the conversion, which is every foot is 12 inches. So I'll go ahead and put right over here, 12 inches over one foot, because if you do it like that, the feet up top and the feet on bottom, that unit cancels out. You cancel out the old unit to bring in the new unit, the inches. And so now we're gonna have ourselves here four times 12, and that's gonna be 48 inches. So again, four feet is 48 inches, and you can do the math there yourself too. One is 12, so two is 24, three is 36, four is 48. Nice and easy. And so we have our 48 inches, but don't forget, don't forget, we still have the three inches from before. So don't get lazy, don't get lazy. Remember that, that we still have those three inches there, and that's gonna be a total now of 51 inches. So remember, the goal here, don't forget the goal. All we did here was convert the four feet three inches into just inches, but the overall goal was to always divide by three. So now we have the 51 inches, let's divide by the three to find out how much each piece is of that pipe. So we're gonna go ahead here and take this and divide three into that. And we have three into five, that goes once. And then we have the 21, three goes into 21, seven times, and there it is. That's gonna be a clean division. And so we have 17 inches for each piece. Is there anything else that we need to do here? Absolutely. We need to go ahead now and take the 17 inches and notice that none of our answer choices actually say 17 inches. So we know that 17 inches is more than one foot. We got to convert that into feet and inches. How do we do that? We divide by 12 because you're going to see how many groups of 12 fit into 17. So I'm going to zoom in right over here and I'm going to divide 12 into 17 to convert it back. 12 goes into 17 one time, so that's one whole foot. That's one whole foot, but what ends up happening is when you subtract the 12, you have a remainder. And the remainder, when you're converting, is the remaining number of inches. That's the number of inches that remains. So we have that right there. One foot and five inches. That's gonna be 17 inches, and that should make sense because one foot is 12 inches, Add the extra five and you get your 17. That should make sense. And so there it is, my party people. Booyah right there. Our complete answer here will be one foot and five inches. That's answer choice A. And we're all said and done. So, you know, as we conclude this video, my party people, you know I love helping you succeed. And as always, I'm happy to be your coach. So if you wouldn't mind, before you move on to the next video, I would love for you to go ahead and make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment on this video in every video that you can as you continue watching, that way you can show your support and we can reach more students just like you trying to raise their scores. At the end of the day, we're trying to be the best ASVAB coaches we can be and it's you that's helping us get there. So again, I'm Coach Anderson. If you wanna find out more about the program, again, the link is in the description of this video, but on top of that, we're happy to be with you. Let's keep raising our scores, let's have some fun, and I'll see you in the next one. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.